Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vlog. I know it's been a minute, things were a little crazy for a while there. I started a new job, I was stressed, exhausted, still trying to figure out how to balance the two. And I came to this like turning point where I was like, I really just want to do content creating, I want to pursue this full time. But unfortunately, I'm not at a place where it's producing enough for me to take a step back from my full-time career. So that means that I still have to pour in my time, energy, and effort into my day-to-day 9-to-5, which is what's paying for the bills. And, you know, starting at a new place, you're learning new systems, you're learning new people. There's just a lot to do in the beginning of the school year. I did need to take a step back from YouTube, but... Now that we're kind of established, we're one month in, I'm feeling a little bit better and ready to start back up with my vlogs. So today I'm actually running some errands. I do need to hit up the post office and UPS for some Amazon returns. Um, and then I also, since we're fully in fall already, which is so crazy, I wanted to pick up some fall pieces, hopefully from Abercrombie. So I'm gonna be going over to the east side, heading to Abercrombie, doing some shopping there. And I'm starving. So before we go there, I'm gonna go to this place called Oakberry for an acai bowl. This is not sponsored, you guys, but it is the best acai bowl I've ever had. So, so good. They did um, send me a voucher on Instagram and I got to try it out for free and I was like truly blown away. Um, they put your acai in like a little cup instead of an actual bowl. So they do the layers around the cup. They'll layer like the acai with peanut butter, coconut flakes, granola, whatever you ask for basically. But it is so good. I've already had it another time since and I'm obsessed. I've learned that I kind of have a bit of an addictive personality when it comes to foods. There was a time where I was obsessed with bubble tea. There was a moment where I was obsessed with cottage cheese. <laughs> I get a little bit obsessive and I can already tell that this acai is gonna be my new obsession. I am feeling really grateful that they even sent me that voucher because many of you know by now my Instagram was hacked. I pretty much had to start all over from scratch and it's taking me a while to grow my platform on there again it just is what it is instagram is hard to grow on i feel like everyone is blowing up on tiktok and stuff like that but i'm just not on tiktok you know i can't really get into it i've been posting mostly like pictures on instagram but they reached out and they said that they saw like one of my reels and i think i only had two reels up at that point so the fact that my page is gaining some sort of traction and that they were able to find me and felt like they wanted to gift me something was just so sweet because like I said, it's starting from scratch and it feels like a big process, but I'm feeling so, so good about my new page. I just love like the layout and how I've been taking my pictures. I'm using my new camera for the pictures that I've been taking. And I feel like the quality is a million times better than what it has been in the past. So I'm just so proud of like the quality of the pictures and the content and stuff like that. And I really like the layout of the page. So hopefully I can just stay on this good trajectory and like keep the momentum flowing as far as Instagram goes. Anyway, let me get my shoes on so I can get out of here because I'm craving that acai bowl so hard. <laughs> Also add chia pudding if you do the crunchy bowl so good but definitely add peanut butter because you need the peanut butter but chia pudding was one of my other addictions I never thought to put it in acai but the combo is perfection mm.
I did pick up a few things. The real reason I wanted to go to Abercrombie today was for the trench coat, the long trench coat, because the one that I wore today is just pretty dull. I love the pattern that it has here, like this slad, if you will. But the actual color of the jacket is very dull and I just thought it was time for a new one. This one is from ASOS like many years ago, but of course they didn't have the long trench coat in the store. So I ended up settling for the cropped version, which is just as cute. And I picked it up because it's perfect for this like in-between weather where it's like still kind of hot from summer, but transitioning to fall. So I got that. It looks much better on, but it's very cute. And I want to show you the color difference. This is my old trench. And then the new one, you can see this one is a lot more bright and the color that I actually want. So I picked that up and then I got a couple of fall sweaters. This is the first one, so soft. And I like that it has two zippers, one on the top and one on the bottom. So if you wanted to, you could like open this one up, leave it open. I just thought it was cute, nice and thick and comfy for fall. And then here's another sweater with a little collar. This one has a shorter sleeve and then these really pretty buttons all down the middle. And I like the texture also with this one. So I just picked up a few things, nothing crazy. But also you guys, I didn't tell you, but I got, got a new phone. I got the iPhone 16 Pro. Here she is. I picked it up in the desert titanium color which is basically just the gold. I needed a new phone. My last phone, the camera, just literally one lens cracked. And ever since, I would turn on my camera and it would create this like buzzing noise. And it just sounded like the government was intercepting my phone and <laughs> it freaked me out every time. So I finally picked this one up and now I go to the camera and there's no noise and it's like, mind-boggling to me because I got so used to that sound but I used to have the 12 Pro Max which was so big and this time I got the 16 Pro not the Max because I just felt like I was ready for a lighter phone something a little smaller and then when I first held it in my hand I was like I made a huge mistake like I just felt so tiny and so minuscule and like ugh, I just didn't like it but now that I have the case for it I got this little silicone case from Amazon. But now that I have the case for it, it does feel more substantial and I'm getting used to it. So yeah, I really like it. And the camera is pretty cool. So you can, you have this little pad that you can use to adjust the exposure and everything, but then you also can use these filters that are like pre-built into the phone. So it's kind of cool. There's like a few new features with this phone. You can also do like, extra zoom and it's still good quality and then you can do a super wide lens so i thought it was good it's kind of nice for me if i don't want to like carry around my camera even though the camera that i have is super portable sometimes i forget it at home so this will be nice to have as like a backup camera i can use it for my content as well and yeah, I'm really happy with the phone so far, I'm treating it as an investment in myself and my future. <laughs> but anyway, wanted to update you there. And I am still so stuffed from that acai that I don't know if I'm gonna make myself dinner or anything like that. It's almost six o'clock, but I'm still feeling pretty full. I'm probably gonna spend the next 30 or so minutes reading. I'm actually reading this new book called, well, it's not a new book, but it's new for me. It's called I Hope This Finds You Well by Natalie Sue. It's like a comedy book. It's about like an office dynamic that is less than ideal. And a little update, I'm now a part of a book club, which is so exciting. I've been wanting to join a book club for so long and I just haven't heard of one or like been invited to one and I'm too scared to start my own. So anyway, my F45 studio started a book club. It's called Fit Lit, which is really cute. And this is the first book that we're all reading. Everyone has to read it by mid-October and we are gonna have our first meeting and I'm really excited for it. I think I'm about 
almost halfway through the book and so far so good I'm gonna read for a little bit and probably just relax for the rest of the day I ended up walking like 12,000 steps today around the city sometimes you just get lost in the city you know when you're walking around running errands but I'm glad I got all that done and out of the way so I can enjoy the rest of the weekend Kevin came prepared with these little glow necklaces so we can find each other in the dark. <laughs> Hopefully they're not necessary. Send that picture to dad. Hello baby. Wanna say hi? Hi. 